chloride to something that can scale and bind a well and also break down the uh, friction reducer that they use in there. As you can see by this, even without me, the solids are in the water, okay? You can see how they're, they're very fine and they're dispersed throughout the water. And these solids typically are naturally occurring compounds found within the earth, barium, calcium, and uh, what we're doing is we're removing them so that when we reuse this water, we get the hydraulic fracture and efficiency right. that we need. And again, like I had explained to you up there, we had our chemicals in mix tank one, okay? So this includes the chemicals that we put in there, okay? Then as it comes around into mix tank two, these are basically the three bays that you see up there. We had the caustic to adjust the pH, we had a coagulant, and we had a polymer, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate the same thing that occurs up there for you here. Understand this is it takes about an hour to go through that those tanks and I'm like rapidly doing this so it'll give you a similar effect, it won't give you exactly the same effect. I have a jar on my desk that he treated for me and I can shake it up, leave it there and in an hour you can see exactly the outcome. So I'll show you what a fully treated one looks like. And then whenever there's like a really anti-gas person, I'll set that between us and they'll like wonder what it is and all that. And by the end of the conversation say, well that's frack water and then they freak out and worry about the more radiation. If I say it's not, it's not, it's not real harmful. If you were to drink it, you probably wouldn't feel good. But... Now, some days Mark has one that. Yeah, it drops day. right out. Some Another days, day. a little bit it, again, it depends on the rock formation, mm -hmm. where it comes from, what's in it. If there's a lot of brine in it, then you'll get a fine, a real fine, you know, solids. So it depends on where the where the water comes from. But as you can see. Remember how all of the solids were dispersed throughout there pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. And after our chemical precipitation process, this is what occurs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna let that settle out for a second. I'm gonna grab some water right out of our clarifier so you can see the finished product. So I, yep. Now I had um, some ADD up here about a month ago, right? House. They had no idea this was out of solution. the policy. Most of them make like either sulfides it's, or oxide compounds that don't want to form. They even said, you know, this is uh, going to weigh your so 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 no, no, there is. We know that it's possible. I didn't want to. I didn't want to pre-fill any time. jars because I didn't want you to think I pulled it out of the tap okay, and staged it for you. But that's the water, right out of our clarifier. That's the end result of this process. Okay. You got that cake on there? Yeah. Let me pull the cake. It's up here. In the this is this is our other talking point. compactor in your house all right you can see how fine these particles are okay so what we do is under high pressure we compress these so if you it, it, it's solid I mean that's you know that's like clay you know it's very hard you know what I mean and this is what gets sent to the landfill and again there are no hazardous waste you don't see me wearing a monitor or anything we're around this all day long seven days a week in other parts right? of the country farmers buy this and fertilize their fields with Right. I mean, it's like it's a natural vitamin for farms. Exactly. It's naturally occurring minerals that are in the earth. So, Marcella Shell gets a bad rap, but really it's misinformation and it's people that don't understand, you know, the process actually, you know, and what happens here. But, but as you can